First John 5 7 King James Version It is not the Trinity the tree that bear record in heaven the Father the Word and the Holy Ghost in this tree are one it is not the Trinity the Father the Word and Holy Ghost in heaven the Father is God first Corinthians 8 6 the Word is in the right of right hand of God Hebrews 1 verse 2 2 3 let us let's read had in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he had appointed her of all things by whom also he made the worlds who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and uphold in all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high on high in heaven so that is the word of god revelation 19 13. so the word is jesus christ in the right hand of god in our time so now jesus christ is in the right hand of god in heaven so the holy ghost in Revelation 5 6 we can prove that that the Holy the Holy Ghost is in the heaven in Revelation 5 6 it says is this and I beheld and lo and in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain and having seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth okay so and also in revelation 4 4 5 and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunders and voices and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne which are the seven spirits of god and what is that spirit and ezekiel 11 and isaiah 11 2 let's read isaiah 11 2 it says is this and the spirit of the lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might and the spirit of knowledge and fear of the lord the spirit of the lord the spirit of wisdom the spirit of understanding the spirit of counsel the spirit of might the spirit of knowledge and spirit of the fear of the lord it is seven spirit okay so three that per record in heaven the father the word and holy ghost that is not a trinity that is god the father first corinthians 8 6 it's the right hand of god the word and the holy ghost how about matthew 28 19 it is not the trinity too baptizing in the name of of the father son and holy ghost so are they the trinity no actually this is the reason why baptizing in the name of the father son and holy ghost romans 6 3 by the glory of the father acts 2 38 in the name of jesus christ the son acts 2 38 holy ghost and you will receive the gift of the holy ghost why the name means name means authority john 5 43 let's read john 5 43 is this do not think that i will accuse you no this is 45 this is 43 i am come in my father's name and ye receive me not if another shall come in his own name him ye will receive okay father's name it is a father's authority and ye receive me not if another shall come in his own authority, him ye shall receive. That's why in 26 and 27, for as the Father had life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and have, have given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the Son of Man. So God gave Jesus Christ a authority 
a authority and what is that authority that is the authority above every authority in Philippians 2 10 to 11 that's why Pentecostals apostolic faiths one is modalism of false believing that the name of the Father is Jesus okay or in the Trinity that baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No, that is baptizing in the authority of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Why? Because we can choose either Matthew 28:19 or Acts 2:38, Baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Or baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ. Choose one. You can choose because they are both right. They are both truth. There's no wrong about baptizing the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost and baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ. They are both the same truth. And actually in Acts 4.12 that no other name under heaven that we must be saved. Okay? Because the meaning of name is authority. That's why Jesus Christ have a authority from God. Okay? In John 5, 26, 27. That's why in Philippians 2, in Philippians 2, 10 to 11, let's read that verse for a final, for a final moment. Let's read Philippians 2. It says is this, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and all things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. It's all the glory of God the Father. Wherefore God also had exi highly exalted him and given him a name, a authority which is above every name, above every authority. That is the meaning of name. Name means authority. Okay, in Hebrews, let's look about Hebrews, that in Hebrews, God said that being made so much better than the angels as he had made by inheritance, obtain a more excellent name than they, obtain a more excellent authority than them. Name means authority. Name means authority that Jesus Christ came here in earth because of God's authority or God's name okay that's why in 530 let's read in John 530 it says I can I can of mine own self do nothing as I hear I judge and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will but the will of the Father which hath sent me the will the authority of the Father that sent him okay can you get it? the point that's why and had given him authority to execute judgment, a authority. In baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, it's just meant to say in Romans 6, 3, by the glory of the Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, who died and was buried, and rose again from the dead. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4. Okay, so let's read Romans 6, 3 for a final moment. Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. In verse 4, therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised us from the dead, by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. So Romans 6, 3-4 to Father, by the glory of the Father, in the name of Jesus Christ who died and was buried and rose again from the dead, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And that is in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Thank you for watching.